After spending all morning at El Rastro Market, it was finally time for some lunch. We got to try a few things that we had wanted to, including gazpacho and paella, before heading off to the Royal Palace for our time ticket entry. By purchasing the tickets ahead of time, we were able to skip the line and have more time to play around in the plaza. There was a beautiful view overlooking the garden, and I'm pretty sure I saw Jack Sparrow. We spent quite a bit of time out in the plaza just taking in all the views. Go into it and look through it. Am I allowed to do this? I don't know. Alright, we're about to go inside. Once you're within the palace, you're actually only allowed to record the first few rooms that you visit. So just imagine every other room being just as beautiful as this one area. The Royal Palace of Madrid is the largest royal palace in Europe and is actually twice the size of Buckingham Palace or the Palace of Versailles. So needless to say, the tour takes a very long time, especially if you're paying close attention to all the beautiful artwork and finishes. I'll admit, Jonathan and I are not the best at reading signs, but we made a conscious effort to do that on this tour and I'm so happy we did because it was really interesting. And if you're ever wondering what our general conversations sound like, Here's a little tidbit. Look how big this rock is. It just keeps going. Why would you want to cover up this beautiful floor? Hank people did it all the time when they covered up hardwood. After you're done wandering through the palace, you're led back out to the plaza where you can continue to hang out if you really want to. Jonathan and I felt like this entire experience was well worth the ticket price. I think we spent around $25 total for this. We definitely would recommend doing the time tickets. Even though you lose a little bit of flexibility, you really save some time from standing in line. Uh. How was it? Nom 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 nom.